Taffa the Taker, a short story by L.M.G. Wilson. There are two things you must bring when seeking help from Taffa the Taker. Payment, of course, in whatever form you can afford. Some bring coin, jewelry, or gold. One wayward girl brought Taffa a ring of string tied about her finger, its value weighed in memory and meaning. And then there was the egg. Fresh and still warm was best. Like most nights, Tatha waited by her hearth, the fire roaring. With a storm raging beyond her shuttered windows, she knew a knock would come upon her door. They always did come with the rain. The rap of knuckles called her from her chair. As she opened her door, a young man stood with that haunted look in his eyes. You have them? She never needed to ask why they had come. The man held out a small coin purse and an egg. The chair. With her cane, she motioned to the rocker by the fire and set about making the tea. Within minutes, water roiled in the pot and she sprinkled valerian petals to steep. What would you have me take, young man? He stared into the fire and she thought him far younger than she first assumed. Not in years but in heart, like a child with new pain. My father's last words, he whispered, what he said as he died. With the tea steep, she poured him a cup and traded it for the purse of coin. As you drink, you hear only my voice. She snapped her fingers in a soft and perfect rhythm. Not the storm, not the fire, not the beat of your own heart. As he drank, the lids of his eyes relaxed. Hold the egg gently and tell me your father's last words. He sipped the tea. You. You're the reason your mother's dead. You're the blight of my life and I am glad to be rid of you. He related the words plainly, the trance of tea and rhythm drowning the sorrow in such a cold parting. Tatha sighed. No, those are not your father's last words. He passed silently. Only a steady breath of release left him in the end. She paused, her fingers aching from the motions she'd repeated more times than she could count. Tell me again of your father's last words. He had none. He passed silently. Only a steady breath of release left him in the end. Tatha nodded. After your next sip, you will hear the storm, the fire, the beat of your own heart. The young man brought the tea to his lips and wakened to the world. Familiar and healthy grief replaced the haunted shame he'd held before. He left the egg and was gone from her cabin. With a wary heart, Tatha cracked the egg over the fire. Its now rancid core dripped on the flames, hissing and spitting the taken words. You are the reason. You are the blight. Tatha spat on them and turned over the logs. Thank you for listening. If you like this short story and want to hear more, make sure you like and subscribe to stay notified. You can read my work on Reddit or support me by becoming a patron for exclusive early access to stories, serials, updates, and narrations. All links are in the description below. And of course, thank you to my patrons. I wouldn't be doing this without you.